Hello everyone, welcome back to Assassin's Creed. So guys, in the last episode we assassinated our fifth target, which was called William of Montferrat. And now we are in Jerusalem and we have to assassinate the next one, which is, I don't know. Safety and peace, Malik. Word that the city was possessed of either. Why do you trouble me today? Al Mualim has marked Mejduddin for death. What can you tell me about him? Salahuddin's absence has left the city without a proper leader. And Majduddin has appointed himself to play the part. Fear and intimidation get him what he wants. He has no true claim to the position. That ends today. You speak too readily. This is not some slaver we're discussing. He rules Jerusalem and is well protected because of it. I suggest you plan your attack carefully. Get to better know your prey. With your help, I will. Where would you have me begin my search? What's this? You're actually asking for my assistance instead of demanding it. I'm impressed. Be out with it. As you wish. Here's where I would look. First, to the southwest near the mosque. After that, head south of here. There are two locations that might interest you. The southernmost church is one, the other is in the streets, near a synagogue. Thank you for your help, Dai. Don't foul this, Altair. All right. Let's go, guys. Okay, I am back with all of the intel. What news, novice? I am not a novice. A man's skill is defined by his actions, not the markings on his robe. We can trade barbs or do Al Muallim's work. It's your decision. Then be out with it. Jerusalem's regent Mejduddin is holding a public execution not far from here. It's sure to be well guarded, but it's nothing I can't handle. I know what to do. And that is why you remain a novice in my eyes. You cannot know anything. Only suspect. You must expect to be wrong. To have overlooked something. Anticipate, Altair. How many times must I remind you of this? As you wish. Are we done? Not quite. There is one more thing. One of the men to be executed is a brother. One of us. Al Mulim wishes for him to be saved. Do not worry about the actual rescue. My men will take care of that. But you must ensure Majduddin does not take his life. I won't give him the chance. So I hope. Okay. We have to Ask save an assassin. To a more recent one. Jerusalem, hear me well. I stand here today to deliver a warning. There are malcontents among you. They sow the seeds of discontent, hoping to lead you astray. Tell me, is this what you desire? To be mired in deceit and sin? To live your lives in fear? Then you wish to take action? We do! Your devotion pleases me. This evil must be purged. Only then can we hope to be redeemed. This is not justice! And all of you stand idle, complicit in this crime. Good curse you are! See how the evil of one man spreads to corrupt others? They sought to instill fear and doubt within you. But I will keep you safe. Here now are four filled with sin. The harlot, the thief, the gambler, the heretic. Let God's judgment 
be brought down upon them all! Okay. Well, I have to be quick. Here is finished. No, no, it had only just begun. Tell me, what's your part in all of this? Do you intend to defend yourself as the others have and explain away your evil deeds? The Brotherhood wanted the city. I wanted power. There was an opportunity. An opportunity to murder innocents. Not so innocent. Dissident voices cut deep as steel. They disrupt order. In this I do agree with the Brotherhood. You'd kill people simply for believing differently than you. Of course not. I killed them because I could. Because it was fun. Do you know what it feels like to determine another man's fate? And did you see the way that people cheered? The way they feared me? I was like a god. You'd have done the same if you could. Such power. Once, perhaps. But then I learned what becomes of those who lift themselves above others. And what is that? Here, let me show you. Okay. Well, I think I killed everyone, so uh, this should be an easy escape. Him, or him. maybe not. Okay, maybe not. Alright, well, let me hide real quick. Somewhere. And then... Oh, maybe I can hide here. There we go. Did they just die? I think they they killed themselves or something. Well, not my fault this time. There we go. Jerusalem needs a new ruler. So I have heard. What's this? No words of wisdom for me? Surely I have failed in some spectacular fashion. You performed as an assassin should. No more, no less. That you expect praise for merely doing as told, however, troubles me. It seems everything I do troubles you. Reflect on that. But do so on your way back to Mosyov. Your work here is done. We done already? Get up. Whatever you say, Doc.
I'm ending the session. No, I'll be right there. You're sure about this? Yes. No. Everything's Denver. I don't see how he could... Of course. I understand. You're in a lot of trouble, Mr. Miles. What's his problem? They're coming for you. Who's coming for me? Assassins. Hey, I had nothing to do with this. Sounds like they're mounting some kind of rescue attempt. Guess you're more important than you realized. Man, things just keep getting weirder and weirder around here. It was bound to happen. What do you mean? That little fight your ancestor started during the Third Crusade? It never ended. You're being held by Templars. Vidix a Templar? There's no way you could have known. They hide it so well. But to answer your question, Vidic works for them. We all do. Abstergo is their company. I thought Templars were old dudes with funny hats who sat around drinking beer and plotting world domination with, like, the lizard people. No. Except the part about world domination, I guess. Look, Desmond, it's complicated. Half the stuff they say about the Templars comes from crazy tinfoil hat-wearing nut jobs. The other half is misinformation intentionally produced by the Templars themselves. But they are the bad guys, right? If there's one thing I've learned since I started working here, it's that there's no such thing. It's all so relative. I guess the best way to explain it is, what they want is good. But the way they're going about it, it's bad. Really bad. What are they trying to do? Lucy. Yes. Miss Stillman, I need to speak with you. Get up here, now! On my way, Doctor. I'm sorry, Desmond, I have to go. You should turn in for the night. The answers to all of your questions are right in front of you. You just have to know where to look. Right. Interesting that they just leave me here right now. Okay. Oh no, she's waiting till I go, I guess. But I have the access code, but uh, yeah, I don't have to snoop around, I think. Okay. Well, that is it for this episode, guys. Um, in the next video, we will do two more assassinations or in the next memory block. And then one more assassination. And then we are at the, well, special relic or ending or something like that. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. And we'll see you all in the next one.